Oh, what's going on YouTube? My name is Chad. This is the Wisco Boater channel. Welcome back to another episode of the Bosun 11 project. I'm excited to start doing something on this project today because I have done pretty much everything today. As far as my projects go, I've done some housework. I've worked on the Cabrio. I've done two projects on the, uh, on the Regal 2665 Commodore. And now it's time to work on the Bosun and I haven't touched it in like two weeks. I'm going to uh, start working on preparation for covering the hull. And to do that, I have to kind of smooth out some of these uh, real rough angles that are on the chines, as well as make sure that the hog is at the correct angle. So I'm gonna start working with a planer and a chisel and get prepped for putting the uh, the bottom and the hull sides on. Now I don't have the wood yet, and the only reason for that is I just don't have room for it. I mean, my garage, ugh, it's winter, and it, it's just jam-packed, it's a mess. Tomorrow, it's supposed to be almost 60 degrees, so I'm thinking it might be time to get a little garage clean going tomorrow. And after I do that, I'll be able to go buy some plywood and have a spot for it. Uh, but in the meantime, Right now, it is 47 degrees outside, which means it is 65 degrees in the shop here. So this is great. This is absolutely great. Um, I'm going to uh, get a scrap piece of plywood to kind of figure out what where the angles need to be. And then it's gonna be time to cover this thing. So let's get to uh, shaving some wood. All right, so if we look at the instructions here for covering, I need to, uh, figure out where to put a temporary strut across the gunnels midway between the stem and frame one, which means somewhere right about in here, I need to fix a strut. It's funny, the uh, British term for clamp is cramp. So a screw or clamp, a temporary strut across the gunnels uh, midway between the stem and frame one. Leave it in place till the deck is fitted, which is quite a ways down the road. So what I need to do after figuring out how to uh, clamp or screw in a strut, I need to fare off the framework to take the skin. In order to do that, I'm going to use a scrap piece of ACX, quarter inch plywood, which is what will be the material for the finished bosun. And you can see if I just kind of push this down here. Got pretty good contact there. Definitely going to be some uh, work done over here with the with the uh, planer. I think that's probably okay. And the hog is actually pretty close. Maybe just a little bit of shaving done at the uh, center point there. You can see there is a little bit of a gap right there, but that actually looks pretty good. So I'm just gonna leave that in place for now. That's gonna be my scrap piece in order to figure out where to do all the trimming of the uh, chines and hog and any leveling that needs to be done in this area. There's a ridge right there that's gonna be smoothed out. Same here, same here. This one, yep, there's a ridge there, a little bit, not bad. But uh, first things first, let's figure out how to cramp the uh, temporary strut between the stem and frame number one on the gunnel. All right, so midway between frame number one and the stem, I've figured out already, is about 14, 14 and a half inches. So right there we've got 14 and a half to the back edge, 14 and a half to the front edge. So that is where the strut's gonna go. I have to cut that and then mark the angle and I'll get that screwed in place just with a temporary screw and I'll start working on the skin. Okay, strut is cut and it's just gonna go in place right like that. I'll measure it, make sure it's nice and square. We're gonna screw. Temporary strut is fixed. 
So now it is time to start doing some shaving. And it's not gonna be bad down there because it's, it's, it's pretty shallow. But when I get down to here, this angle coming off of frame number one is gonna be interesting because this is just gonna be a constantly changing angle that I'm gonna have to use that piece of scrap ACX to make sure and get right. All right, I'm gonna uh, start using the planer and see if we can get these angles figured out. Time to fast forward. Well, I've run the planer uh, from front to back. You can see the scraps are everywhere. everywhere. Uh, these are going to take some sanding. I'm not gonna worry about planing these. I've got the angle pretty good right here on the chine, but this has got to come down about a 16th of an inch. So I'm gonna have to get the sander out for this. That's pretty close, but still has to come down a little bit. And then the center of the hog has gotta come down a little bit as well. So we'll see. Tomorrow it is supposed to be almost 60 degrees outside. So I think I will probably open that garage door and work on sanding some of this down with the garage door open. So, uh, Renewed appreciation for hand tools. I love working with these things, but they are a lot of work. Well, several days have gone by. Uh, I haven't touched the bosun um, for, uh, for several days. I had a beautiful day a couple days ago where it got up to almost 60 degrees and uh, the day just didn't work out to get into uh, working on this. Um, I've got a car project in the garage that I'm working on for Brittany and uh, that took a little bit longer than I anticipated so I didn't get the time to work on the bosun but uh, today it's uh, it's chilly out it's probably I'm guessing it's up around 42 43 yeah 43 degrees um, so the garage door or the shop door is open and I need it to be open because I need to run the belt sander and I don't want to fill this room with dust um, I'm already dealing with a little bit of a throat issue from sanding Bondo over the weekend. So <clears throat> I wanna to add to that. So with the door open, I'm going to uh, do a little sanding, do a little uh, planing and uh, use that board as mentioned before to get uh, the preliminary shape down before I go buy um, some plywood to cover this thing. Enjoy some music and uh, some fast forward, some I'm, I'm sure I'll fast forward through some of this, but um, if there's anything interesting along the way, I'll talk. So what I'm doing here, um, if you haven't guessed, is uh, leveling out the, the transom where the stiffeners meet it and also um, bringing the hog um, to a more, a little bit um, shallower of an angle. Had it just a little bit too steep on my initial cut, which was done on purpose because I wanted to make sure and be able to sand it down to get it to a nice good fit. So that's what I'm doing with the sander here. Um, I've already worked the planer on the uh, chine on the other side. Probably won't do much more with the planer um, at this point. It'll all be it'll all be done with a sander. So that's what I'm working on.
What a freaking mess. Oh, gross. All right, so the objective of all that sanding was just to do this, to make sure that I have nice uniform uh, contact on the boards here. That's gotta be pushed down a little bit because there's extra weight hanging out there pushing the board up, but that all looks good. Look up under here, don't see any daylight. A little bit back here, but that's because of the weight of the board. So when I push that down, no daylight. That's all sitting nicely. So I'll slide it up just a little bit and do the same thing. Might take a little bit more off the hog here. Eh, I don't know. It's negligible. And it's uniform all the way to the front. And this is where the this is where the chine starts to come down. So this is gonna have pressure up here as well as down here as it makes a curve. That all looks good. The other side. Okay. Kind of hard to push down in. I want video at the same time, but. I think this is looking really good. Just a couple little spots to sand here and there. I see a ridge right here, right there that I'll take down with the, the, hand, the sanding block. But this is all really, really nice. All right, let's get down into some of the details here. Everything's nice and smooth. Got all my cross members, stiffeners, everything is all lined up. Got a good line from the bottom board bearers out to the chines. All right, everything looks great. All right, with the bottom done, now I'm going to work on the sides. I gotta smooth out the uh, transition here from chine to uh, frame and then to gunnel. This won't take quite as long as the bottom. Uh, there's a lot going on here. A lot of pieces crossing each other on the bottom here, but on the sides, just going to be uh, sanding the chines flush with the frames. Same thing for the transom. So I'll get that done. No reason to film it. That's the same thing as I just did for the bottom. But uh, I'll take care of this and then uh, wrap things up before we close this video out and go buy some plywood for covering. All right, I think we are ready for covering at this point. I've got all the side transitions smoothed out. Everything's looking real good for starting to fit the skins. All right, well, I got everything vacuumed up with the shop vac, and as much as I love making a mess, I love cleaning up messes, so time to blow this shop out. So thanks for watching this episode of the Boson 11 Project. Hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you on the next episode of the Boson 11 Project where I'll start covering the hull. Until then, there might be another couple of uh, episodes of Clifford Projects and um, uh, maybe even a tugboat video in here before too long because it's starting to get warm enough to think about getting that thing out. So thanks for watching, everybody. Hit that subscribe button. Hit the like button. Send me some comments if you like. And uh, we'll see you next time on the Let's Go Butter channel. Happy boating, everybody. Listen to the birds. Spring is almost here.